G'day guys, it's Jim from jagfx.com. Um, today's video is just going to be a bit of a rehash on a trade entry method. It's the um, high risk, high risk um, method from um, the high probability book and the divergence book. So it's method number two. So this is the one that you have to be aware of your trade management, your money management, because you could be adding to a losing position. I know it's not for everyone. It, like I said, it's high risk. So what happens if a trade goes against you? You'll be entering another trade with a higher position size. Uh, what we're aiming to do is try and get out of break even or better. So I'll just run through a few examples just to clarify a few things for you. Um, I've prepared some charts and the spreadsheets just to make life a little bit easier, make it a bit quicker for the video. Uh, it may appear like I'm cherry picking, but I'm not. I will run through some examples um, without cherry picking, just random ones and show you where it works and where it doesn't work. Now, anytime you see a blue vertical line or a red vertical line, dashed line, that is the signal, the, the entry um, point. So. As you can see on this chart here, I've got a couple of um, blue lines, vertical ones. The horizontal one's the actual entry level. So you've got the signals, the vertical, and the, the horizontal's the actual entry. So you look from left to right, because that's the way we trade, obviously. So your first trade's here, it's a buy. Second trade's down here, it's a buy. When you see a yellow dashed line like that, that's overall break even for all trades. So this is just a quick example of one, two type trade. So there's two entries. I'll bring up the, so I'll just move across a bit to the right. So for whatever reason, I took the signal. Here's your first one on the blue dot down here, the MACD Platinum's well below the zero level as it is for the second trade. So I've taken one there, it's gone against me, price has come down, there's another buy entry there. I've taken another trade there. That second trade's for a bigger position size the overall break even is just a little bit higher. So what I'm trying to do is look for the MACD Platinum. To, once it gets up to the zero level here, that's when I start looking for an exit or trade management. I may put a stop in place. I may close part of my trade. So it depends on what the scenario is and where you think the market's going to go. Generally, if you're in multiple trades, best just to get out of break even or better and wait for a new clean signal. Let's just have a look at the, um, so that's the Euro pound four hour. So here's, like I said, I prepared this earlier. So the first buy was 0 0.01 at this high level here, which is about 858.7, which you can see on the spreadsheet here. Then price went against me. Second trade to buy was down at this lower level, 85302, which you can see on the chart here. Overall break even. 85446. So it's in this level here. So we scooted through that nicely, and that's an easy one. Easy pips. Now let's go to another example. Uh, sell signals this time. It's the Euro USD one hour. So we, here's our first sell signal here. And like I said, red vertical lines for sell. There's a second one up here. And prices, the overall break even's in here. We have the break through the MACD platinum here. So it would have been around this candle here, you could have waited, and just run it down. There's your overall break even. I'll bring up the spreadsheet so you can see it. Uh, Euro USD, sell one, sell three, overall break even 18037, which is on that yellow line. Straightforward, straightforward. Aussie, here we go, a bit, few more trades here. Now you can see, looking at this, there's four buy trades, blue lines buy trades. Now, the first one, you can see the MACD Platinum stay below the zero level. So one, two, three, four. Overall break even is your um, yellow dash horizontal line. And eventually it's just gone. If you didn't get out um, in this area here, where it crossed through the zero, the MACD platinum cross through the zero level in that sort of area here. Plenty of chances to get out, get a few pips, even if you hung on to it for whatever reason. And it you know, went up high. So we'll just have a look at the spreadsheet just to confirm it. So the first entry was 0.1, second entry was 0.3, 
next entry is 0.5, next entry is 0.8. So it's like a fib sequence to a, you know, it's not, a fib sequence is 1, 1, 2, uh, 3, 5, 8. This is just 1, 3, 5, 8, 13 sort of thing. And there's your overall break even, this, this spreadsheet, which is available in the files folder. If you go to the JagFX Facebook group, you go down to files on the left here, open that up, and you'll see one up here called Aussie USD. If you click on that, that'll bring up that same spreadsheet, but you guys all get that apart as your download package with the books. Uh, that's a high probability book, and also I believe in the divergence book. So that's where they are. Now, so there's four trades there, so, you know, you'll get in here and you may get a bit nervous but as long as that macd platinum's below that zero level i'm fairly confident of taking those trades now whether i would have taken that first trade <laughs> you know because you know, like i say i like to see when the price comes back to the zero level oh sorry price comes back to the ma's if i'm on an uptrend so that's probably my first trade entry in that one there that'd be my second one and i'd be out here somewhere but that's beside the point Let's have a look at another example, USD Japan, this is the daily chart. So here we've got three sell signals. So if you look at the first one here, see so this was a good sell signal. MACD is above the zero level. Price has come up to the MAs, take that sell. Went down, you probably see it's even got a few pips here, you probably would have got, you know, it's nearly 400 pips there. So you, you could have been out of that trade with a bit of a profit, but just say you were waiting on the MACD platinum across the zero level, it came close here, but it didn't, started heading up. Another sell trade here. You take that one, and thinking, now it's getting really ugly and going against you big time. Take this third one up here, and it's still a valid MACD, still above the um, zero level, but then it's gone against you. You'd be getting nervous, but then they had that nice drop, and sort of broke the zero level on that big bearish candle, but that next candle definitely took you down to the break even. Now, let's just say here, um, you missed that opportunity to exit. You're thinking, well, here we go, it's come up near the 240 LMA, I think it's gonna go down further, I'm not exiting, exiting for whatever reason, then price goes against you. Now, for a start, this buy signal here would possibly be the start of a new trading sequence, so I, I would, just looking at the divergence there, there's plenty of bullish divergence. I'd be taking that buy trade there. So you can run that up for a few pips. You break through the, the MACD platinum, breaks through the um, zero level down here, start closing out that trade. And even though you're losing still on this sequence, you know eventually there'll be another sell coming up. And here's a sell signal here, it's a valid sell signal. You could add this to this previous sequence and take another trade, a fourth trade, and I guarantee you, you break even. Let's have a look. So that's, we'll bring up the spreadsheet. So the open there is 98,960. So let's have a look at the Japan, where is it? What did I say? 98,960, see I've already put it in, I know what's going on here. Put it in as a sell. So this is the fourth trade, it's not marked on the chart. 96,472 is the overall break even. 96472, which is uh, 96472. And there you go. Again, it's come down. Plenty of opportunity to get out of there at break even if you missed it there. Doesn't always happen, but that's just how it does. So there's three trades there. Could have got out in this area here somewhere. If you, if you missed it, you could have taken some pips on the way up on that valid buy signal, then traded another sell down to the short side. But even if you missed that one, I guarantee you'll probably pick it up on that one for sure. Guaranteed. But that's just, uh, let's have a look what else we've got here. Uh, all right, let's pick some random ones because I've just cherry picked a few and you're probably going, well, he's just marked them and found them. So, all right, we've got the G pound USD daily chart here. Um, so here's where probably it wouldn't work. Um, let's have a look. If this sell signal here, so I'll just throw up this chart. So he took a sell there, which is a valid signal for me. Um, and the second one would have been in there. So your first one's around this level here. 
the second one's in that level there, and your MACD crosses in here, that would have been a loser. You would have lost there, and you possibly could have got away with a break even on that one. So you would have lost point uh, pips there. But if you wanted to hold on, you eventually come down here, that would have got you out. I reckon that would have been. So you got out this level here, it's easy to just do um, back test. You just put your, use your crosshairs here. So you got out, I'll pick this level in the middle of this candle, say. So we know that would have been three times. So three times 50, one is roughly 150. Give or take a few pips. And your entry there was 380. So even if you got out, you wouldn't have got um, enough pips there. You still would have taken a loser. That doesn't always work. Let's have a look at another one. Here's, we've got a buy. So, so we'll put these as blue lines. So we'll say we would have, for whatever reason, we took a buy here. I wouldn't take a buy there, but just say we did. Let's have a look. These are random, so this is, I'm just winging this one. There's a second buy symbol there. Uh, another buy signal there. So you can see one, two, three buys, and what below the MACD is below the zero level. And so our first entry is up at this level, our second one's at this level, and our third one's at this level. So we've got one, three, five, all right? So price breaks through the, I mean, the MACD platinum breaks through the zero level around here. So it's on this high somewhere up here. So let's just say we got out in this area here, cursor there. So our entry would have been on that, open that candle. So five times 250, what's that, 1,250, whatever. That's over 1,000 pips there, 1,200 pips. And that would have been for three, there's 300 pips, so that's 1,500, and probably take a loss on that. Well, I might even take a small profit <laughs> for about 10 pips. So that's an easy win. So that's a winner. So even though you lost on a previous one, next sequence, make all those pips up. When you lose, you will tend to lose big if it goes against you. When you win, you will win big. But you have to be smart about your trade management. So when it gets up to this level, when it crosses through the MACD Platinum, you might think, well, it's going to go to the moon, so you might not get out, but then look at that, price just turns, it, turns against you straight away. You may get a bit cute, so you close out one trade or part of another trade. You, know, you, could, you could look at different scenarios where you decide to close out bits of your trades, put an overall break-even stop, which might get you below this low, then just try and ride the trend up. Up to you. Uh, let's have a look at the next sequence. So we've got cells here, and I haven't even looked at these previously, so I'm just winging it. Uh, this is the, still in the USD, we just go from trade to trade here at the moment. Uh, sorry, the pound, sorry, the pound USD. Great British, uh, what is going on, Jimbo? Slow down, there we go. So we've got three cells by looks, you can see them, it's clear as day. It's a, MACD platinum is above the zero level. So one, two, three. So we have one, three, five position size. We're through the zero level here, which would have, I would say, where we at, about there. So anywhere in here, if we close that there, that would have been five fifties, fives, that's 250. That's about a break even, that one and put a, taking a loss there about 110. So you're still up there. And this one you could probably road down a bit even further. So we've got the next one. It's just a straightforward buy trade. And that's a nice buy trade, look at that. See, MACD platinum below the zero level, straight up. There you go, can't miss. Nice sell trade for whatever reason, straight down. Let's go to gold and have a look at gold. See if there's any When it, this doesn't work, it's in big trends, one way or the other. Um, if you're on the wrong side, sometimes it can get really ugly quickly. So here's a sell trade. So we've got sell there. Goes against us, doesn't even hardly go against us. Another sell there, down through the zero level. Easy, easy 
buy there. It's not a very really good example, is it? Uh, all right, here's another example. Say we took a buy up here, which is a trade I wouldn't take. Just looking at that chart, it's just, I would like to see price come back to zero. Level. But say we took the buy there. So we've got the buy, price goes, it goes to big time. Another buy trade there. So there's another entry and it goes against us again. There's a third entry there. So we'll one, three, five. So it's one, two, three trades, but the position size will be one, three, five. And we go through the MACD platinum in this level here. So that's definitely a win there. Um, what's that? Roughly five times 80, 400. It's a small win, 100, another 120, and you would have lost there, 170. Remember, your position size is getting bigger, and that's why the numbers are multiplying. So I'm working everything on my base lot. Then we get a nice sell, 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 sell signal there, which goes straight down. Buy straight up, so it's nice and simple. It's when the the MACD platinum gets stuck below the below or above the zero level for a long time. That's when the, the problem starts. See, here's a big uptrend. Now you took the sell save there. You would have taken probably a loss because it's gone through the MACD zero level. You would have taken a loss. I wouldn't have tried to get out of that one. I would have taken a loss there, taken that buy trade, possibly. It's not come back to the MAs. Then say you took this sell trade for whatever reason, you're thinking, uh, oh, there's divergence there, for example. So you take that sell trade there, man, go straight against you. But then look at this one, you got that sell trade there, now look what happens. Straight down, MACD. So you in there for one, in there for three, and you're out, it, a big profit. You know, when you look at it, say you got out halfway down this candle, uh, you, 850 pips there times three, so you're looking at over two and a half thousand pips and another 280 pips on top of that from your first trade. Like I said, you win big, but you can also lose big. So you have to be careful. When you're going against a trend like that, you, know, you see these trends like this. Uh, here we go, there's a, say you took this buy here. So it goes against you. Take a second buy in there, so that's for three. It goes against you again. Take another buy there. And look, you're through here, and that's a win. Is five times 230, uh, three times 48, and you probably break even on that one. So that's easy pips, easy pips. But like I said, you've got to be careful. Here's a good example where you probably lose big time, I'd say. But you're going against the trend. You take that first sell there, goes against you. Take the second sell here. Now that, you can see the MAs are starting to spread and go to the upside, not good. Third sell, in trouble. Fourth sell, get nervous, look at those MAs. Down through the zero level in here somewhere. If you could, you, you know, here you'd be looking to get out, just take the loss and it'd be a big loss. You may get a few pips on that one, but here you, that's multiplied by, um, Five, so there's, you know, you're looking at 600 plus there. That's multiplied by three. You're looking at over a thousand there, and 500 and something. So you take a loss there. That's just the way it is. But then you, what you do is you start looking to make those up on the next trade. So we got the buy there. You know, that takes you up, to, you know, 330 pips if you got it. Then you start looking at these cells, whether you take it or not. I don't think you would. <laughs> you need some good. After the, the MA is going like that, you want a good reason to. Um, so you, you, can, you can lose big, you can win big. This is what you want ideally when you get one dot on either side of the MACD, just like that. Just take the buy, take the sell, take the buy, take the sell. So hopefully that's given you a bit of an idea about the, um, the method number two in the books. It is high risk, like I said. Just be careful. Don't be silly about it. And if you're in multiple trades and you see a, a reason to get out at break even or for a small profit, I would suggest you do it or take it.
sure price might take off without you, but you know either that or it could turn in a heartbeat. As soon as that, as soon as that um, MACD platinum goes through the zero level, there is a chance that it could reverse. You may want to wait for a, an opposite coloured dot on the MACD platinum. That's up to you, but just be be warned. You will price may go against you. That's all I can say. So that's that's it, guys. Hopefully that explains a little bit better. Um, so we're adding to positions, watching the MACD platinum, and the sequence is one, three, five, eight. Use the spreadsheet to help you. It's available in the files folder. I am actually having the, this spreadsheet modified, so it's gonna look a little bit better. I'm gonna do another video shortly on hedging, which is another trade management way, which may help those that are a bit nervous with this because instead of just taking all buys or all sells, I'm taking trades in both directions. Not everyone can do that, but it could make life a lot easier for you. Anyway, I hope that clears a few things up. Now, if you have any questions, either feel free to hit me up in the Facebook group or you can email me at admin at jagfx.com. All right, guys, thanks very much for watching. Cheers.